Today I'm gonna see if this is my new favorite interior cleaner. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda, out with my car. That's why I've got this interior car cleaner here. It's by Adams Polishes and I've used their stuff before. And in fact, their interior cleaner used to be my favorite cleaner. And one of the reasons was because it was a low reflectivity, no shine, matte finish cleaner. And so I really liked it because it helped you pick up stuff, but made the dashboard look like it was stock, not like it was slathered with baking grease. So I'm hoping that this cleaner works just like this. Now I will say, because I put the spray nozzle on here, I smelled it and it smells kind of awesome. So I think that's going to be nice in the car, but you almost want to drink it. It actually smells exactly like those frozen push pops, you know, those little frozen treats that came in long cellophane tubes and you would just push them up. That's exactly what it smells like to me. It smells like that sugary candied frozen syrup. So let's go ahead and see if this works as well as the old one or even better. All right, now here's my Buick Encore, and I have, for the purposes of this test, just been letting this thing get dirty. So dirty. You're such a dirty girl, Buick Encore. You can see we've got dust everywhere here. You know, smudges and fingerprints all over the screen. Center console here is dirty. Carpets are dirty too, but... We can't do anything with the spray on that, but we just have like dust and fuzz all over everything. So pretty gross. And so I am hopeful that this will make a big difference very, very quickly. Let's try it out. All right, I think we're recording. I've got a clean yellow microfiber cloth here, and I'm just gonna start by spraying it into the cloth here. Brand new bottle, get it in there. All right, kind of went a little heavy. Even sprayed it on myself. I did not pee myself, but it's just nice because I can wipe it like this and the moisture in the rag just kind of picks up everything, but I don't really have to scrub anything. It just kind of attracts it. You gotta have long arms to get back here. And as you can see, you know what? I'm just gonna spray some on the dashboard here. Like get it really on there. As you can see, that is pretty well drenched. And now I'm going to wipe it because this would be a really big test of how much gloss it's gonna leave. And it really doesn't leave any. I mean, maybe just a little bit, like it's clean and there's a little bit of moisture on there. But when I was a kid and when you would get into someone's car, they would armor all the dashboard. And that's what we liked. We liked that smell. Love the fact that it looked like the car just got soul glowed. And, you know, the wetter the look, the cleaner we assumed you kept your car, but that has all changed. It's that matte finish now that's really important so that it doesn't look like you have drenched your car in armor all anymore. And I just went ahead and went over the screen here. I'm gonna take the dry side of this microfiber towel and just wipe this down a little bit. And man, that looks great. And you're not using any harsh scrubber like a Windex or anything. I mean, no more fingerprints or anything on there, even this piano black plastic right here. Man, that looks great. Dude, I am pretty stoked about this. Um, it does smell great. It smells like someone's offering me candy. So you might be able to see here, we've got this dust all over the steering wheel. This is where you really see it as a driver. And again, man, I'm just doing a wipe down. You know, I wouldn't even call this exactly the most thorough cleaning, but it's just a quick once over even have some stuff in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it in there and see if I can get some of the stuff that is kind of caked on there. Controls, I'm even using it on the leather. Steering wheel leather here is pretty much the only leather in this car, but use a little bit of the dry side of this to just kind of lift off the excess and man, Looks great. And down here, again, this area is pretty bad. And I'm gonna just go ahead and spray it on the rag and just kind of drag it around. And it just gets all the fingerprints off. And if you have this piano black plastic here, I've always kind of wondered about this because I feel like you can't be too harsh on this stuff because that shiny black will show pretty much any scratches or abrasions, but man, stuff is almost like a wax or something. It stores that shine and you know, this plastic is years old. So right there, all right, man, what a 
great way to just grab a bottle of this and your microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe down everything. Give it a good once over. Give it a good how's your father and how much better that looks. That is pretty amazing. I mean, the top is cleared. It has that matte finish, which is what I'm really looking for. So many of these cleaners leave a shine there. You know, here is that screen up close and personal, the plastic, the buttons down here. I mean, all of this was in such bad shape. And remember right up here, that dust and everything was just sitting up there, haunting me, laughing at me. And now this looks great with just a quick once over. So do I like the new Adams? Total interior cleaner. Oh, I love it. Mwah. And it loves me back. Who says things can't love you? If you want to clean the interior of your car in the easiest way possible without having that greasy, slimy, shiny finish on your dashboards, this Total Interior Cleaner smells great, is easy to use, and gives me the finish that I want. And it's one of the cheapest cleaners out there from a big brand name. So if you want to pick this up because driving in a clean car is going to make you a little happier, I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda out we can do stuff more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever thanks to peter